One of the things I'm most concerned about going into the spring of 2020 is how about all our residue we have coming off of 2019? Is that gonna get broken down very well going into 2020? The reason why I'm worried about this, I think there might be more continuous corn acres. I think that we could have a real issue with late harvest this fall with all the late planting that there was. So today we wanna to talk about how you can increase the speed of residue breakdown on your farm. First of all, if you haven't harvested your corn yet, you still have a lot of options on the table. For example, can you run a chopping corn head? This is something we've been doing on our farm now for a number of years. We're sizing up that residue into small chunks. And as we do that, we're cutting those stalks up before they get run over. So we've got a nice spread of the stalk material. This is gonna be a big thing rather than piling it up in a big pile. And the other thing is those small pieces, they've got a whole bunch of exposed surface area where we can get faster breakdown with microbial action. Now, when Darren talks about that microbial action, that happens a lot faster if you till all your residue into the soil. So that's always on the table that you can do tillage. But for a lot of farmers, they don't wanna do tillage simply because there's more erosion potential, you're gonna decrease your soil's organic matter level. I mean, there are a lot of bad things, plus the fact that it costs money. So instead, what a lot of people want to know is how do I just naturally get that residue to break down faster? Darren mentioned the chopping corn head. That's absolutely huge. But just understand, what does break down residue out there? Well, it's bacteria. There are beneficial bacteria that are going to be out there breaking that residue down. What do those bacteria need? They need oxygen and they need nitrogen. So those are two real big keys that we want to talk about. So let's talk about the nitrogen because so often I hear farmers say, hey, I'm thinking about putting on some liquid 28% or some liquid 32% or some form of nitrogen out in my corn stalks to try to help speed that breakdown. I know they're really high in carbon and corn stalks a lot of times they'll say are 60 parts carbon to one part nitrogen, but obviously there's a little bit of fluctuation there. So if I can get that ratio down to say 12 to one, where I've got a whole bunch of nitrogen out there to help these microbes break it down, that's a good thing, right? Well, I answer, of course it is. It's a great thing. I would love to see some nitrogen out there, but you also need time. So let's just say you're harvesting the 1st of November and freeze up has already happened, well, you're gonna get a whole lot of microbial activity out there. But if it's still warm out and you've got some time, you definitely can see a speed up and breakdown. Yeah, and even if you don't have time this fall, that nitrogen's still gonna be there come spring, so it absolutely can help. Throwing a little sulfur with it as well can make a difference. Now, I mentioned oxygen too. If you've had a drainage issue and you haven't gotten that addressed and gotten your water table down with drain tile, you're not gonna have as much living bacteria out there and your residue's not gonna break down as quickly. So a lot of people talk about this as soil health. Whenever you hear soil health, that means you've got lots of oxygen in that soil and you've got lots of beneficial microbes that are constantly working for you. Now, speaking of those microbes, Brian, I am seeing more of a trend industry-wide to putting some microbes out with that nitrogen application. Products like Decomp, for example, are getting used widely now to add the microbes out there to help speed this breakdown. We saw this year some guys that were trying different microbial products. They saw some products that worked well, others that didn't work quite as well. So it's still not just a blanket statement of, yep, you wanna put microbes in, you wanna make sure that the ones you're going to do are gonna be beneficial for you, but we do see some benefit adding the right microbes in. Yeah, like Darren mentioned, Decomp, that's got 65 beneficial microbes in there. So you have 65 different species, you're talking millions and millions of microbes that are working out there on every acre, that's enormous. We're after that. We want faster residue breakdown and we know that microbes do the job, so adding more beneficial microbes absolutely can help. So whether you've already started your corn harvest or you've still got corn out in the field, you've got time to influence residue breakdown going into 2020. We think this will be a very important thing to have a successful crop next year. One other important thing for next year's crop and this year's crop is weed control. We'll show you how to stop this tough weed later in the show. <music>